Uh, yes, I can. All right. So you see here impressions from Google. You've got zero impressions for these keywords. Yes. I'm going to go to keyword research from search. And the only keyword that you have is Zcom. I'm going to click the flag orange. That means that I'm including it in my rank trackings. Okay. And then Zcom, you're number one, but you're not scoring for the others. And the reason why, if I go to your website, the most of them are not indexed right now. I guess that's the issue. Well, if I go to your title, the reason why you're not scoring for anything is because you say Zivam homepage. Okay, you can't say that. This is the title. It's the most important SEO ranking factor. You have to say um, Zcom um, workflow app. Right? You have to, uh, you have to say um, Teams workflow app, um, South Carolina, uh, you know, South Carolina, US. And, um, and uh, the most least important is your name because Google's going to know you're number one anyway because of your domain. So you got to say here what you do. Now, also, your H1, view page source. H1. Yeah, you don't have an H1. That's why you're not scoring. So you can really score easily um, just by doing the tags. All right, and then um, that's why you have no, no rankings except for your name and you have no impressions. But um, yeah, well, anyway, let's find out um, everything that says workflow. So I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna do a search for workflow. Okay, workflow, okay, actions. Workflow. Apply. Okay, so these all say workflow. That's five out of 10 say workflow. See, and over here, workflow, or, or just five of them. Okay, now I'm gonna go to dangerous competitors. Now these are the domains that score best for those keywords. But I can filter that and find only the domains that do best for the keywords that say workflow in them. See, process.st, click up, Frivo, Integrify, apps, Intex, Kisp. Okay, so um, is this a competitor? Yes, anyone who makes app, business apps, they are a competitor. Okay, and then the other one. Okay, now I'm going to go to... Um, Site Health, and I'm going to find the Site Health Content Assistant. Okay, and then here, create a new report. Okay, and then here I'm going to type in Workflow App, Workflow Software. All right, location, Charleston language. English, desktop, and I'll go with your homepage. Now we're going to find the URLs that are your biggest competitors. And it's going to be really important to have the URLs that are your biggest competitors. Okay, Zevon, and then uh, homepage Zevon. Okay, so like I said, you need to have keywords here, workflow app, right? And you have no H1, so you're not scoring. But guess who's scoring? Number number one for scoring is called workflow.as. 
and their H1 is workflow and their title is workflow. That's pretty bad too, because they should say app, but they don't. But this is a, um, a really serious competitor. So I'm gonna copy this. Soon we'll have a button that says, make this a competitor so you don't have to copy it. But these are also um, URLs, workflow management software, the digital product manager tools. These are all the pages on the internet that, um, that uh, um, score well. Kissflow, right? Workflow, right? All right, let's kind of go to um, backlink profile, competitor backlink spy. Okay, here, um, if I go to um, settings, I'm not gonna do Apple on Monday. I'm gonna um, add workflow as it is and process that this T. Okay, sort, and I'm only gonna choose three um, pages from each domain. Um, that links that links back to your competitors. Now this will sort all the backlinks from your competitors and it'll find um, 600 backlinks from each competitor. 600. And, um, and then it will sort by which backlinks are going to more than one of your competitors at the same time. And actually this apps.apple.com, that, that will probably have too many backlinks, apps.apple. Look at this though. Um, these two competitors have these backlinks. These are do follow backlinks. Small business trends, small business team building. And if I go to this website, right? This wonderful article written by Annie Pylon, right? Is linking to two of your competitors. Right, they're linking to it. So what you wanna do is you wanna become friends with Andy Pylon. So you copy her name and you find her in LinkedIn and other places. Right, and Facebook and Instagram and especially LinkedIn. There you go, she's a freelance writer. So you wanna, you wanna say hello to her and make friends with her and then refer to the page that you wrote, that she wrote on and say that you, you've got it and then offer a free 30 days to use your um, software. And then all of these, they're also linking to your competitors. So you wanna become friends with everybody who wrote these articles, like Wordable. Let's see, Brad Smith. And he's linking to your competitors here. So you want to get those backlinks too. All right. And then um, competitor link profile. You only have six backlinks. Um, let's, um, Getting these people. These they have a lot of backlinks. You only have six. Okay, now your six backlinks are here. This is your backlink. Basically, this yeah, is you don't have very good backlinks yeah, yet. Yeah, it's a new website that we created, so we are working on. 
Right. In fact, that's toxic. That's considered toxic. So you've actually got, got to get rid of that. Yes. So you go here to the um, disavow list. Okay, and then you, um, you generate a disavow file. And then you upload it to Google Search Console here. The backlink will go away, right? Yeah, and this is your this is your um file. Yeah, so then you upload it. Okay, and then um, if I go to site health, your site audit. And if I go to site, site issues overview, this tells you problems that you have, like you're missing an H1 heading on five pages. The home page, the contact us page, the FAQ, no H1, that's really bad. And then if I check the technical audit, server issues. On this page, the free expense tracker app, Expenses, my team site. You have a link to extenses, my team site. See this one? Okay. For example, your app can be located on your own site. Expense. Oh, yeah. See, this is a bad link. Oh, okay, okay. So that is just an example given with a link. But right. That, but the problem is not, Google thinks you made a mistake. Yeah. yeah that does not exist. Right. Just an example. Right. And then if I go here, landing page SEO, um, let me hit here. Right, so then, um, well, if I go, if I, yeah, I can add keywords here, but here, um, workflow app, you have it in the description, but you don't have it in the title and you don't have it in the, you don't have an H1, right? Because we showed you, you did not say workflow app in the title. You just said Zivam homepage, which is no good. And then here, you do say workflow app in a couple of the images, they're all tag and the file name, which is good. But in your internal link text, you also need to. That is um, here, if I go to the pricing page. Now, if I wanna go back to the home page, I click on this link, Zivon, this logo, right? Yeah. What is the name of the logo? Yeah. It says full text, text only. It doesn't say any keyword. Okay. 240.jpg, now what is your H1? Oh, no, not your H1. Um, okay. 
Yeah, see, this is your logo. You have alt equals quotation mark, quotation mark. There's nothing in there. Mm. You want to say workflow app um, and, all, and what you do, like are you a manufacturer or are you a, right? Like workflow, workflow app developer, right? And then when people click here, the Google bots, when the Google bots click here, they see that internal link text going to the home page, right? Workflow app developer, right? And they, and they get all those keywords you want to stick in the alt tag of the logo image. Yeah, and that's it. That's well, that's a good um, um, demonstration, a real quick demonstration of the tools. So what I did is I gave you a free startup trial for seven days. 